After a busy weekend of shopping, many people are starting to wait for their packages to arrive, but so are porch pirates. Colorton Cindy Moran is live outside the Springfield Police Department tonight after talking to someone who got their packages stolen off their front porch. Bailey, SPD says this is the time of year when more thefts can happen, and because of that, one man is actually changing how he gets his packages delivered. We've always had things shipped. Dan Perry typically gets packages every week, but on November 23rd, he noticed something strange on his ring camera. Right as the FedEx pulled away, the car pulled into a drive, and this young man got out, went up, got the package, and left. This all happened before my wife could walk a flight of stairs and get out the door to pick up the package. So. The ring camera video shows the man taking just 10 seconds to steal the package and get in a car. And there are lots of people who have everything shipped to their home, and if they're shipping Christmas presents or you know even the electronics and the high dollar things that are being purchased this time of year, uh, they're not secure on your porch. Springfield police say there are things people can do to make sure they get their packages. Uh, the first thing is to have a, a good relationship with your neighbors, uh, making sure that if uh, your neighbors see that you do have packages uh, out on the front porch if they're around, just to keep an extra eye out for each other. Secured uh, package drop-offs that you can put on your front porch that are have a key code access that you would let your uh, delivery service know. Uh, luckily, places like Amazon now are offering pickup locations versus having them delivered straight to your home, and we'll utilize those services just to prevent that from happening. SPD says it is important to report any theft. But it's heavy, so it probably felt like electronics, but this young man got home and unwrapped a fruitcake. And it doesn't matter if it's a $3 theft or if it's a $10,000 theft. It's still a crime, and you're still being victimized, and that's what our whole purpose is, is to make sure that that doesn't occur. Over the next few weeks, SPD says they will have officers patrolling neighborhoods in the hopes of preventing crime. Reporting in Springfield, Sydney Moran, Ozarks First.